Perkins place, dangling bare brown legs. They came, came home. Why couldn't he quit picking on her? But her news was too delicious to let him stop her sharing it. Ali bought herself a see-through blouse and Mama's through throwing a fit. Good, he thought. That ain't nothing to cheer about, he said. Bapiri, bapiri, bapiri. Daddy Maybell screamed with delight and started running for the road. Jess watched his dad stop the truck, lean over to unlatch the door so Maybell could, uh, could climb in. He turned away, turned. Lucky kid. She could run after him and grab him and kiss him. It made Jess ache inside to watch him de uh, his dad grab the little ones to his shoulder or lean down and hug them. It seemed to him that he had been thought too big for the since the day he w was born. When the pail was full, he gave <coughs> Miss Missy a pet to move her away. Putting the stool under his left arm, he carried the heavy pail carefully so none of the milk could, would slop out. Mightly late with the milking, aren't you, son? Person had jag jaggedy brown hair cut close to its face and wore one of these blue undershirts of oh, undershirt like tops with faded jeans cut off above the knees he couldn't uh, honestly tell whether it was a girl or a boy hi he or, he or she said jerking his hair or jerking his or her her head towards the Perkins place. We just moved in, just stood where he was staring. The person slid off the fence and came towards him. I thought we might as well be friends. It said there's no one else close by. Girls, he said, oh, he decided. Definitely a girl, but he couldn't have said why he was suddenly sure. She was about his height. No quite, no. He was pleased to realise as he or she came near. My name, my name's Leslie Burke. She even had one of th those dumb names that could go either way. But he was sure now that he was right. What's the matter, huh? It's something the matter. Yeah, no, he pointed his thumb in the direction of the, his own house and then wiped his hair off his forehead. Jess Aaron's two bad Maybell's girl came in wrong size. Well, well. He nodded at her. See you. He turned towards the house. <coughs> no use trying to run any more this morning. Might as well milk Miss Bessie and get that out of the way. Hey Leslie, what was standing in the middle of the cow field, her head tilted and her hands on her hips. Where are you going? I got work to do. He called back over his shoulder. When he came out later with a pail and stool, she was gone.